Richie Rich brings to life a fantasy every kid has, having all the money in the world and being able to buy anything you want. Before the movie, Richie Rich started as a comic series from Harvey Comics and also had animated shows. I'm not too familiar with its source material. I was mainly drawn to the movie because Macaulay Culkin starred in it. And back in the 90s, whatever he was in, you at least got a little interested in his movie. So who exactly is Richie Rich? He's an only child whose parents are in charge of Rich Industries, the richest company in the world. Just how rich? Well, you do have 70 billion dollars. Oh my, and here I thought I was rich when I collected a handful of pennies. So what is Richie Rich about? Just seeing how rich he is? Well, kinda, at least for the first half. We see everything Richie does, like practice baseball with a real pro baseball player. He flies in a helicopter, goes to school with other super rich kids, and has his own butler. He tries to make friends with kids that are not rich, but they don't want anything to do with him. These are the kids most of us would relate to more instead of the main star of the movie. But I always felt these kids were pretty rude. I mean, yeah, they're kids, but they don't even want to be friends with him or give Richie a chance. But then again, I guess they have a reason since they are so different. How could they relate to such a money-making child? But later on, they go to his mansion and spend a day with Richie. And this girl, Gloria, always bugged me on how unimpressed she is. Everybody is going crazy on how big his house is, and she's like, whatever about it. I would be going bonkers being at a place like this. Even when Richie shows them he has a working McDonald's in his home, all she reacts to is... Not bad. My head would explode to see a real working fast food joint in his home. Even if it was something like Jack in the Box, I'd still be excited, but not Gloria. To be fair, she does later on get impressed by the backyard driving ATVs and Richie's own roller coaster. That's like having your own Six Flags. So with a company filled with buttloads of money, you know there is somebody out there who wants it all for themselves. Lawrence Van Gogh. Just looking at him, you can tell this guy is bad. Like, really bad. So bad, he tried to kill the Rich family by blowing up their private jets so he can take over the company. But Richie wasn't with them, so he takes over. This is how he becomes the richest kid and starts running things. Run things. <laughs> I always like this part Richie says about job security. He always said that when people are secure in their jobs, they work harder, they work happier, they work better. That could be true if you know your job is secured. You'll work harder and happier knowing you can't get fired, but that only works with good people. If there's a wrong person in that field, they'll take advantage and probably do sketchy stuff since they can't get fired, so in theory it does sound good. The last part of the movie is Richie Rich trying to get the company back and get rid of Lawrence and his parents returning back home from surviving the crash. It gets pretty crazy. This Van Gogh guy is no joke. He wants to take all their money and he actually shoots Richie. Like what the? He's just a kid. Good thing he had that bulletproof vest, but jeez, what a jerk. Good thing he ends up doing community service as his punishment. Richie Rich gives us a glimpse on how it is to be filthy rich. Majority of us who see this movie probably can't relate, but it does fulfill our fantasies or give us a peek into our future on how we could be a trillionaire. There was a sequel to this. Richie Rich's Christmas Wish, saw it once and never saw it again. It has nobody from the first movie, boring story that we've seen in countless movies and TV shows. No wonder it was straight to VHS. I remember it showed on Fox Kids and even then I knew it was dumb. I never even bothered with the Netflix show either. It's amazing how Richie Rich always comes back for a new audience to enjoy, but never seems to catch on. I know people who don't even know what Richie Rich is. I guess people just aren't interested in a movie about a rich kid. The only reason we know of the 90s version is because of Macaulay Culkin, and even that was towards the end of his child star career. That's okay, I still like this movie, but not even Kevin McAllister could get people to care about Richie Rich.